Welcome to the second half of the game here at the Carino Park. It's uh, Liberty Professionals at home to Wow Stars, and so far, it's been pretty much a, a lot of appointment, perhaps a performance from the two sides. The expectation perhaps it will be to see the home team Liberty picking out a three point. They've been very resolute at home in this year's Premier League with the chance again, and they have had some players really not looking to a let in terms of the balls, which was whipped in into the half. Well, Liberty making two changes so far. Now Papako is out, and in comes a shine with a chance now. Liberty and keeper Richard Ofori doing so well to save that sticky situation for Wow Star. But what an opportunity they've had, and that is the introduction of uh, Benjamin Ashen into the game. He comes in to replace Enes Papako, but what again opportunity Liberty have had. Well, and now have a corner kick to take, and they are looking for that opportunity again, and it's going to be taken there by Frederick Ansa. Strips the ball in again, and he's been headed down. Uh, it's wow, stars who are beginning to also create some openings. Well, poor ball control, the Brazil sorry, just couldn't get to it, but what an opportunity. Benjamin Eshen. Look at the pass. The PD outside trap got into the box there. And bam, that was it. What a save. It was just the right hand of uh, Richard Ofori that denied Liberty the opportunity to score here. Been the first goal there for the game. Our wow, stars yet to make a change. Liberty have had two, now they have just one to make. Now looking for that opportunity again, another chance now. Crossbar boy in there. Another in swinger comes out again. Leave it to a chance and well, it's been hit wide again. Two clear opportunities. Sefas Doku with an opportunity now. Well, wow starts defending again in the second half. And anytime the balls are whipped into the right hand side, it's always becoming a problem for their left back. Sister moved further forward. Richard Alta, lovely pass now. Rivaza Sari turns, losing that possession. Ferdinando beating. Liberty again looking at long balls. Now there seems to be some bit of confusion here. And Wow Stars seems to be in very, very awkward position. Liberty seeing plenty of possession. Just giving the balls away easily, allowing the Liberty professionals to attack them. Poor kept in play, but to the advantage of Wild Stars. to get to the man and another pass to Moses Yako. There's a long one here straight to Eric Ando. Well, that's an offside flag here against Benjamin Eshen. And 
five minutes gone in the first second half I must say and still a little bit the first now is but creating the chances. Get there, another ball in here and they're trying to look for that opportunity, opportunity to do something. Benjamin Shen, he's been very, very effective since he came on. First power Yes, another foul here, quickly taken by right hander. William Denchik. Benjamin Arthur comes in. Simon Zibo. And ball taken away from right hander. Commits a foul in the midfield area. Between the two sides, so is KG and you hardly would find a lot of goals being scored though, but that's how strong both of them have been. Wow stars, the team she beat last season. Trying to create yet another opening. Someone Sako, who is a police officer. And yet again a foul, and, and the flag is up here, one offside. Our stars have played 138 away games in the Premier League since 2007 and they've won 26 of the games and losing 79, scored 105 goals and conceding 173 of those goals as well. Premier League title last season with 51 points. Well, Liberty's worst performance in the Premier League was uh, 13th in the 2009-2010 season. They had 38 points in both seasons and again 2015-2016 had the same issue. And again the Liberty team defending to the left-hand side and Still struggling to get the chances they've had. Well, they did create some of them though, but still looking for that opportunity to move on to CPA. Still fans crying for a goal here, they need it. Not a huge one, which is for it, collecting it quietly. Yeah, look at that opportunity. That's our bright under here. Yet again, it is. Liberty, who really are showing some glimpses of uh, a team looking for the three points. Always trying to look for a long ball deep into the half of uh, the opponent, and again, they still are struggling to deal with it.
again is Spain. Goal is here, and you're probably thinking what uh, the coaches be given the two teams. Keno Sadipa looking prepared with a tactical plan, and uh, Ignacio has said doing same here with Liberty professionals yet to produce a goal here. Frederick Anta. Now Liberty and a great opportunity here to search forward. Benjamin Shen, long one here. But, uh, for four one trying to pick uh, the run of uh, Bernard Arthur. Disappointed, Ignacio Zosei. Just took out his man so perfectly, and his final delivery. That's very shambolic on his part. Nishen, which Arthur. Still trying to keep possession. Arthur. What the rather side. A lot of space. Drags it to the left hand side. Kelvin Ando. Goes round one, two. But wouldn't be allowed by Sapo. Gets a corner kick for his effort. Well, perhaps hoping he will be able to take advantage of this chance. And some of Sapo organizing his defense well. Now with a corner kick to effect uh, for Asari. It'll be a right-footed one for Wow Stars. Strikes it in. And again, it's been headed back in play. And Moses Nyapo fouls his man. I was trying to control the ball there and failing to do so means that uh, Wow Stars we have to concede right hand. That was the man who was brought down. You know, Sadifa trying to get his map to work. Well, I can control here. The first one lets him down. The second, it's the foul he committed. Moses Nyako stays on the field and he went out to be carried away by the St. John's Ambulance men and of course he appears to be okay and wants to continue with the game. Jan is also in the stands watching the game. His brother Samojan played for Liberty Professionals some years back. Molasari wins the ball now for our stars. Richard Arthur so failing to control the ball here means that uh, Liberty will have the chance to throw this one in for Sparbo. He has to bring the ball back again. been quiet in the second half though we have not seen much in terms of attacking play another foul committed here on Simon Zibo all right again they will be given to goalkeeper Richard Foy to deal with it Nyako back in the game here. Good play. Divas Sari that shot here and quietly collected there by Eric Ando for Lee Betty Professionals. Oh, drop down again and it's been dealt with it. Lee Betty going back, move back to see. have a free kick a 60 minutes of play still go less here at the car window park here in Dansuman match day eight of the Ghana Premier League
they try to maybe take advantage of this one. Leave it to fetch nos. This long shot here. It was a poor one. Slipped it there. Trying to hit the huge one into the area of Wild Stars. Gets another ball whipped in again. Quiet. That's uh, Simon Zibo. Great play from this man. Simon Zibo. Still going. But still had some players back in there. Benjamin Shen and uh, Bernard Arthur were waiting for a pass. He said to go alone. What a play here from first Arbo. Ball lifted in. And Richard Ofori was able to palm the ball away just not too far away, but closer to his own box. And he headed down for a corner kick. Another ball whipped in, Richard Ofori. Uh, well he's received lots of uh, pressure from the Liberty team and just had the corner kick. Well whipped in again. Was Moses Nafos head that straight into a six yard box. Also have to try from a far though, but it's not really been coming the way they expected. Liberty professionals and Wow Stars having some difficulties in creating a lot of openings in the game. Much of the game has been centered in midfield play. Of course, the two teams are trying to go with a very tight formation here today, and uh, it's uh, Bernard Arthur who was trying to get his way in there, but. That's how difficult it's really becoming for for teams. Wow stars you have Wahid Mumuni also together with uh, David Abagna playing a midfield role. again we're a bit of a thinking mood for this young player but perhaps a young man watching the game all he wants to see is a bit of a, the ball hitting the back of the net and then the explanation will be even the professional is doing so well well they've had some decent chances as well though but I mean really the chances that you expect the team to plant the ball back in the net but they've been trying they've had the side post denying them a goal and they've still been pushing forward. But again, it's a ball won by Wow Stars. Which I challenged over the referee sees that one to be a legal one. Surging forward, Liberty. Uh, temporary hold up now from the referee. We're well, still watching the game on, and Wow starts to have uh, the goal down. And Enio Salipa still looking for that right moment to get a goal. And many conference will happen between the Liberty professional players.
for our stars to be hoping to have the likes of uh, Nicholas Benson, Marshall Parkour again in the team. That's what perhaps will make the team complete if they do come into the game. These days, ladies do come watch games in Ghana Premier League. Zibo. Confirmation of the scoreline again here at the Carrying of Park. First power. to foul here and so it's liberty professional has opportunity to find some opportunity to push forward then there you have it a wrestling challenge happening <laughs> Just dropping the ball by the referee allows to continue. Our player goes to the ground and the appeal for penalty will not be given to Liberty Professionals. But it's still Liberty Professionals. And the flag. He's up here again, Zishen. Oh, is that the part trying to get to Kevin Ando? Still giving him instructions. In time, Zishen also missing an opportunity there for Liberty Professionals. Second half has been quiet though from both teams. Occasionally coming out with some decent chances. It hasn't really been a free flowing game like we did see in the first half. Once again, just close up to the 18 yard box, an opportunity for the Petit Professional. For a change now comes in for our stars, the first change for the team. Alex Echampon in for the goal. Jeffrey the goal is out. So there's a midfielder comes in for the right winger. Kevin Ando here. Coach one is man beautifully, Kevin Ando. Moses Nyako. This ball has been well intercepted. And again, it's uh, Device Asari. Picking it up for our stars. Bernard Arthur. Sefas Doku. So losing the chance. Now they have 20 minutes to go. Maybe trying to salvage something here, Liberty. Meantime, a player stays down. There's a man who just came on, Alexi Champong. Well, 
uh, they may want to be talking to the referee as well. And there you see the Prosperable here. Moving down the flanks. Frederick. That's a terrible foot to challenge on Simon Zibo. Is that quickly? And there you see that starts showing. 19 minutes, still counting. With Liberty with a chance now. And the uh, ball has been had that two players colliding. Bernard Arthur. I was thinking it was going to be allowed the Lord to take that chance. Currently the CEO of the club for our stars. Yeah, I was looking at the ways the team can uh, get a goal. Well, the fans again appealing for a penalty, but the referee would have none of those calls happening. Player that the fans were calling for penalty here, which would not be given. But uh, corner kick, which has been well bent to the far side. The furry is beating, and eventually goes to ground. Bernard Arthur also involved. Which furry is still. Down, Bernard Arthur equally. Both players need medical attention. Oh, what a ball. He was headed down by Samuel Sappho. Just couldn't get the direction right. That was a sweet ball to the far corner. Met the head of uh, Samuel Sappho. And eventually, it was a wasted effort. Ishaku Konda was also there. They play again. Assistants beginning to pick some pointers. We're now looking for the opportunity to do something, and both teams still struggling to get it done. So when they have it, perhaps they know they can do something about it, though. Picking signals that Emmanuel Sapon probably might be coming into the game, though. And Richard Ofori again.
what a chance for teams have had. And what the interesting aspect of both sides is the fact that well, Liberty really have had a lot of chances. Still looking for that opportunity. Fori appears to be okay now for the game to continue here. Time not on the side of both sides anyway, but uh, Bernard Arthur is picking up uh, treatment from the far side. And that's the chance they probably think they have to get to, but it's not really happening. Labor personnel is working to get the team going. The home match is in the month of uh, March. They beat the Busson draws by, well, draws beat them by three goals to one back in 1999, Liverpool personals. But that's another opportunity here for Shen and Richard Ofori in there. In the 2014 season, Liberty beat Coloco by a goal to nail the month of March. It was a game played here. And so, looking at the matches played in the month of March, Liberty have won 13 of those games and they have lost three, scoring 31 goals and conceding 15. And still in the month of March, again, a, play, a game against Wild Stars and no goal to show for it. And Wild Stars. Still looking for the goal now. A substitution comes in here. Liberty bring it on Imano Safong. And going out now, it is uh, Frederick and Sabutri. Was Bravo trying to hit one inside the 18 yard box, and ball comes out of play. And Liberty beginning to push forward again. Another miscue opportunity for Zibo. Richard Arthur, wow stars, pushing forward now. Richard Arthur, looking for support. Swings play to the left, right hand side. And Alex Supusui Champo goes to the right hand side, swings the ball in again. And this is wow stars, Kevin Ando here. Liberty in trouble, Kevin Ando. Moses Nyako, shot comes out and he pushes the body of uh, you see Mubarak, and, and again is a crossbar denying Wild Stars that goal. But what a strike! That would have been a huge surprise story here at the carrying of Park if the goal on the ball hit the back of the net. And Wild Stars appears to be out of uh, their defensive shells and beginning to attack here. Moses Nyako. Ten minutes to go, plus stoppage time here at the carrying of Park and still his goal is here. Match day eight game. Now searching for it. Wow, Stars. And again, that's a poor opportunity after all those surging runs from David Abaga. Taking signals from the technical area of Wow, Stars. In the set, I'm watching a strike up, probably will be coming into the game and we'll be taking out Matthew Kevin Ando. 
Yet again, another poor ball from Liberty Professionals. Oh, sent down to the left-hand side by Nana Abdul-Kuadai and Liberty winning possession with another huge ball in it. Oh, what, what a half chance it is there from Bernard Arthur. Well, the connection was perfect though, but just missed the target by inches. It's been looking for that opportunity to get the fourth goal this season, but what a ball it is from the left hand side. It came from Sefas Adoku. Look at that. Sefas did so well to hit this one with the inside of his boots, and what a connection. Wow, stars. Body by the Sari. Looking for space to shoot. Well blocked. Get another ball in, and this time to Eric Kando, the goalkeeper. Yet again, Liberty doing so well. A Shen. Shots the ball down. Bernard Arthur with a header here. And eventually, our stars clear the lines beautifully. Well, our stars were trying to deny a little bit for first downs the opportunity to score here. Whilst they've also had some chances. Uh, they've missed them as well. I'm trying to go with a spectacular here, but uh, Oberak, you see, was also around to stop him. And William Genchi goes in to play as the left back after Jose Bonsu was taken off. Well, this is Benjamin Eshen. And that's going to be an opportunity for Wild Stars to get back into the game because they really have been in in all sort of trouble. Kevin Ando. On the bench now. He's made his contribution known. Since then, well, a little bit of professionals have. Well, the very first time they lost at home in the Premier League was the 11th of February back in 1999, a match day two game. It was against Oko United. A team that went into the FA Cup uh, finals with uh, Bechem United and lost to the team there. Denchi sends the ball back to Mubarak Yusif. And so five minutes to go. Goal is here at the current of Park. Well, the first yellow card will go to Wow Stars, and that's uh, Richard Arthur. On Prosper Arbor. It's 
coming back defending. And so, somewhat subtle to get his ball in here. A lovely ball here. And again, this time, he came from the Betty professional stop man. That He's also trying his best there to score, Sapong. It's a lovely ball here, and of course, it's inside the 18-yard box. You were expected the players to just deal with it, and most of them failed to do so. Bit of a push there, and so the referee's seeing that one to be a foul here. Again, a free kick was that. Just three minutes to go here, and there you see Liberty, Benjamin and Shen pushing forward. Two minutes to go. Uh, started on time. Our stars may probably want to take advantage to make a change now because the Seru women want to come in. And he's taking out uh, Richard Arthur, who was on a yellow card. And again, another wasted opportunity. Still counting and now knowing how to go about things. And so still looking at how we're moving forward. And of course, you're looking at uh, Mubarak Yusif again. Player stays down and his liberty attacking. We're Charles Nabalad, Arthur, and just failing to deal with it. In time, the player stays down. So we are into stoppage time here at the Carino Park. Sefas is down with an injury. Meanwhile, there's a corner kick to Liberty Professionals. So looking on, a bit of a disappointment.
waiting for that goal to come. The corner kick to be effected here. Corner kick well lifted. And again, it's been headed back into the game. And Wow Stars really have had to defend for a good amount of time. We're doing four minutes of additional time here. Uh, the car in the path, according to the fourth official. Go ahead back again and another volley. William Denchi. And now pushing forward, wow, stars. Mubarak Yusuf doing so well to defend his line. Zibo, ball taken away from him. Referee says that's a foul. And also the foul. Not happy at all with the call from the referee, Eric. Free kick. Ball lifted poorly. Moses Nyako clears the lines for Wild Stars. Minute to go. And there will be some time now for Wild Stars to relax some of Safu. Some seconds to go here. Uh, the car in off pack, and you're looking at uh, the time and wow stars game here between themselves and Liberty Professionals. Oh, so there the fans really will be a bit disappointed about for Liberty Professionals, they lost the game to. Ashko to midweek and at home they are joined home to Wow Stars. So that's perhaps the last action in the game here. And uh, referee Amofa Sarkodia, the man who works for Sewage Services, will probably be ending the game. Well, so that ends there from referee Eric Amofa Sarkodia. Now, while All Stars are still yet to win match day eight away games in the Premier League since 2007, and yet again, they have failed to win here, but Liberty Professionals will be looking at the opportunity they've had so far. And, well, they came close at scoring, they were hitting the crossbars, and goalkeeper Richard Ofori also doing his best to stop uh, Liberty from scoring, but while All Stars really haven't seen much in terms of uh, their shot at goals, but two coaches know that technically they had to work to make sure that at least their team picked a point in this game. It finished here. Lee Betty Professionals, nil hours, that's nil. Well, so there you have the highlights of the second half with the Chess Shen going in with this shot and it was blocked. Well, again, it still kept calling. Liebert Professionals. Prosparbo also involved. And then Moses Nyako also coming in with this uh, ball inside the 18 yard box. It still kept coming pretty hard. And eventually, it was just a lot of wasted chances coming the way of the two teams. Yako's header back into his own post and was saved by goalkeeper Ofori. And then it was the top man, Richard Arthur, who also came in close. At the time, you were really thinking Liberty were going to score more goals, but. 
and it was still not coming. At the point appealing for a penalty there, which was not given. We're still pushing, but it wasn't coming. And then the opportunity here, which just flew wide. And still a lot of opportunities that to be wasted. It was a crossbar here that denied Wild Stars a goal. Meantime, Cephas had a sweet ball in, and what a connection it was there from Bernard Arthur. But again, that also flew wide. And so that is how it, it had to finish here. And so still a lot of opportunities, but none of them really counted so well in the game. to 45 ball possession for Liberty. You look at two four wild stars, and of course, you have shots and targets. You do have three four wild stars and two but fouls committed there, interestingly. He uh, had 18 fouls committed in the game. Now, four corner kicks in. So, it finished here. Liberty professionals nil, wild stars nil. So, it's all over here at the Car Randolph Park and match day eight Ghana Premier League. And wild stars, the league champions, have picked a very vital away point. Right here, I have the coach of the team, Adipa, here to share his thoughts on the game. Coach, uh, your impression about the game? Well, thank you very much. It wasn't bad. Uh, I really expected my boys doing better than this, but I could see fatigue has already set into the team. So we could see the last part of the game, we could see they couldn't <laughs> pick it up. But all said and done, coming all the way to Accra or Karindo Park of uh, Dansuman to take one point out of the three. I think I'll give the credit to the boys. So will you say your course to defend your league title is on? Yeah, we are still on course. Our main focus is to defend our title. So if you see losing the first match to Hearts of Four, one way or the other, will the, the, the help of the new guys supporting the seniors, you could see they are now gelling together one after the other. So I hope if they keep on like that, we'll definitely retain our so congratulations, Coach Adipa. Let me speak to the coach of Liberty Professionals, Ignatius uh, Ado. Coach Ado, very, very, oh, sorry, sorry. very, very tough game for you. I think uh, I must be frank. We played very, very well. It's just that we didn't take our chances. And they came in with a mindset which I think worked for them. They wanted to slow the game down, and we couldn't pick up to our pace even at our away games. So the, way the football we play is with space. And so once there is no speed, then the, the opponent can recover. And for me, that is the only worry I have. But clearly, we could see that we played our hearts out, and then we wanted to win. It's just that it was too bad we couldn't. I mean, clearly, the second half, you really dominated the game. You created a lot of chances. Will you say, I mean, goal scoring is a problem for Liberty Professionals? We have, we have been in our last uh, seven matches. I think we have averaged 1.1 1 .1 goals, so it's not that difficult. And on this ground, this is the only match we did not score goal. We have played three matches, four matches here. In all, we have scored like eight goals or so. So you can imagine, goal scoring is not a problem. It's just that there are days when the ball will just not enter into the net. You, you clearly saw that <laughs> we, we did our best. We created the best of chances, but we couldn't just score. Better luck next time to Coach Osei. Let me speak to the man of the match. Ando, he was in the midfield for Liberty Professionals and he really dominated the game. Uh, congratulations, Ando, for winning the man of the match. How difficult was this game? Uh, it wasn't that difficult. Just that we didn't take our chances. We had so many chances that we should have reached that ground. Just that we wasted our chances. But it wasn't all that difficult. You see, we dominated the game throughout. So I don't think it was difficult. We just wasted our chances. So, I mean, looking for what should the supporters I mean, expect from you in your next game? Um, I think we've been playing away good football, but then when we go and we come, we don't pick a point. But as far as someone came and he took a point here, yeah, I think then our next game we can also go away and pick a point, come back home. Congratulations, Ando, uh, the man of the match. Let me now speak to uh, the captain of uh, Wild Stars, who happens to be uh, Eric Ofori, who is also a national uh, team goalkeeper. Richard Ofori, sorry. Richard, congratulations. You picked a point away. I mean, you were virtually on holidays. You were hardly tested. Did your game plan really work for you? 
Yes, of course, because uh, to come here and get a draw is a very, very, very great uh, win for us because uh, we draw at home and then uh, we came here to, to draw. So it's a very great, uh, uh, important draw for the, for the club. So moving forward, do you think, I mean, your cost to defend your title is on? Oh, it's too early to say that, but uh, we are on course. Uh, we, are, we are now picking up, but uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, congratulations, uh, Richard Ofori. Uh, let's just, tomorrow's game is the big one. Our crowd to folk coming up against Kumasi as Kotoko will be live on GTV Sports Plus and also on GTV. Let me hand over to my colleagues in the studio for the post-match discussion.